Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Our next step is to put a wrap on the service module of the rocket that's going to go right here. And it's going to give us subtle detail, which looks really nice on the rocket. Um, there's two parts to this. One, there's a template that is to align the wrap, and the other is the wrap itself. And this is made from a puffy ink that kind of expands as it dries. Um, so it's slightly raised, and that gives it that really nice definition. Um, so go ahead and cut these out. And for that, I'm using a hobby knife and a ruler, as I did always. Two pieces cut out. Um, this one is going to wrap around the two and as you can see here it says this edge will will be the seam for the service module wrap and then align this edge with the seam on the transition and that seam on the transition is where the two edges glued together. Um, as I look at my tube here I got a little bit of overlap on that wrap. Um, on the bottom it's aligned perfectly but on the top it's a little bit off. So for that I'm just going to take a razor blade and I'm going to align it like that and then just use a sawing action to saw down through it. And then try to pop it up. Okay, that's better. Now I'm going to take this and kind of pre-curl it so it will conform to the tube a little bit better. And so this edge goes to the transition and I want to make it so that the words when you read them point up like normal. Um, so then I roll it around until I find the seam, which is right here. And then I want to mark this edge, and this is where the seam on my service module is going to align, like that. And then I want to pre-curl this, and I want to test fit it just to make sure that I've cut it properly. And I always go both ways, and I always want to get each edge on the inside so that the edge curves as well because usually if you only curve it this way this edge doesn't want to curve so then you curve it in the other way okay on the wrap the side with the smaller stripes is the front end so I'll put that on the tube and we'll align this right here on our line And I want to wrap it around and see how well it fits. Now I've got just a little bit of overlap, probably like um, half a millimeter. So I'm going to trim that off. And on my edge right here, I'm overlapping a little bit here too. And the reason for this could be one of two reasons. Is One is when we mark the tube here, we didn't mark it correctly, which is probably what I did. And the second reason is, remember this transition, we had to adjust it forwards and back. Well, if we adjusted it too far forward, we're going to get a little bit of overhang on it. 
Now on this wrap, I don't want to cut off the front edge, so I'll have to trim off this back edge, and I'll probably trim off that black line. Um, and then on the edge, um, I want to stay away from this right here, this line. So I'm going to trim on this side. So now when I put it on, I'm really good on the top. And when I bring it around, I'm better, but not, I still have a little bit of an overlap because I can feel it. I can feel it as I rub my finger across. So I need to trim this edge just a hair more. Okay, so that's perfect right there. Um, and then it would be aligned on this line right here. Now there's multiple ways you can attach this. Um, you could attach it like we did this transition, and you can spray the back with the uh, spray adhesive, and then put it on, and then run the super glue around the edges to bond it down. Um, the reason we um, that works really well. Um, another way we can do it is with just regular glue, smear the back side, and then bond it to the tube. And the reason we would do that for this particular application is over here, we had put CA glue on that internal transition. And because that internal transition has that on it, it's like a plastic and the glue doesn't stick well to it. But in this application, I'm going from paper to paper. And for paper to paper bonding, wood glue will work just fine. So in this case, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so have some paper towels handy. Uh, you want to do this real thin. Um, I'm going to use this uh, card as a little squeegee. So once I put the glue down, I'm going to smear it around to make sure it's nice and uniform. Wish me luck. This is the first time I've ever done it this way. <laughs> Got to be careful of getting, keeping the glue off the back side, which I did when I, when I moved it around. And I just put, put it right back into the glue. Get the glue off the surface. Use a little water. <laughs> That's for dog. Dog, you know who, who you are. <laughs> he laughs at me when I do that. Alright. Man, because I use so little glue, it bonded almost instantly. That looks really nice. I'm really happy with that. So there's the two ways to do that. Um, so great, if you like it, we're done with this step. We're done with the uh, forward part of the rocket. Um, so we'll see you in the next video.